basics of report writing. In this lesson, the learner will be able to describe the aspects of report writing, explain the differences between essays and reports, explain the basics of report writing in detail. Comrades! Comrades! So, how are you all holding up after the Great Civil War? Very bad. We have lost half of our comrades. Hmm. Some are recovering and some are in. We are also running short of budget. Yes, Master. Duh. Get me the expenditure report for the last quarter. Let me scan to find the loopholes. God, I'm done. What happened in this scene? The head raccoon told the soldier raccoons to prepare a report. Let us see how the raccoons prepare their report. Soldier raccoon 1 comes with a report and shows to the head raccoon. Head raccoon reads the report and throws it back with anger. Everybody stop! Do you all know what a report consists of and why a report is needed? If not, first learn what is a report and then you prepare a report. The soldier raccoon once started searching for the meaning of the report. A report is a more highly structured form of writing than an essay and is written so that it can be read quickly and accurately. The reports are organized based on the convenience of the intended reader. Therefore, a report is a study of facts and information formed in a structured format based on the observation and analysis, an outcome of an event and also helps the management of an organization for making plans and solving the issues. With this understanding, let us learn the aspects of report writing. One of the most important aspects of report writing is to convey the ideas or information to others. A report should be clearly and intelligibly written and self-explanatory. Many of the learners have the misunderstanding that essays and reports are one and the same. But in reality, there is a conceptual difference between these two. The important differences between reports and essays are Essays are argumentative and idea-based, whereas reports are informative and fact-based. Essays are semi-structured and reports are formally structured. Essays are not written with a specific reader in mind, whereas reports are usually written with a specific purpose and reader in mind. Essays are written in single narrative style and reports are written in style appropriate to each section. Essays do not include subheadings, whereas reports include section headings. Essays do not include bullet points and reports often use bullet points. Essays do not contain tables or graphs, whereas Reports contain tables or graphs. Essays offer conclusions about questions, but reports offer both conclusions and recommendations for action. Now, let us watch how the Soldier Raccoon 1 plays the game on the basics of report writing. You have to press the up arrow given at the bottom right corner of the screen to jump and you have to collect coins in which a message is hidden in each coin. When writing reports, make sure that your reader understands things in the easiest way. Use active verbs, short sentences, and keep to the point. The main stages of writing a report are the following. Defining the purpose, investigating the topic, organizing the report into sections, order of presentation, Order of writing, numbering the sections and paragraphs, planning the writing, revision. The first stage is defining the purpose. In this stage, you have to be clear about why you are writing, what to include in the report, what to leave out, and who are your intended readers. It is better to express the purpose in a single line. The second stage is 
investigating the topic. The process of investigating the topic depends on the topic itself and its purpose. In this stage, you have to read, interview, experiment and observe the information about the topic. Also, get advice from someone who is more experienced if you need to. The third stage is organizing the report into sections. The importance of organizing the report is to make it easy for the readers to find the information they want. Reports can be set out in the following parts, but each section may or may not contain subsections. Title page, contents or table of contents, abstract or executive summary, introduction, methodology, results or findings, discussion, conclusions and or recommendations, appendix. These parts are the basic parts of a report. However, the number of parts may either increase or decrease based on the needs of an organization. The fourth stage is the order of presentation. The order may vary according to size of the report. Generally, if the report is long, that is, more than five pages, then you could follow title page, acknowledgements, contents or table of contents, list of figures, list of abbreviations, List of tables, abstract or executive summary, introduction, methodology, results or findings, discussion, conclusion and or recommendations, references, appendices. For short reports, you could follow the order. Title page, introduction, discussion, conclusion and or recommendations, appendices. The fifth stage is the order of writing. The following is one of the recommended orders of writing because each section that you finish would help you to write the next one. Introduction, methods or methodologies, findings and discussion, summary and conclusions, recommendations, abstract, title or title page, contents or table of contents, appendices. After writing all the sections, always read, revise and rewrite the sections if necessary. The order of writing may vary according to the needs of an organization. The sixth stage is numbering the sections and paragraphs. If you do not have sections and paragraphs, keep it as simple as possible. If your report contains sections and paragraphs, use capital letters to label sections and numbers to label paragraphs. The seventh stage is planning the writing. There are two different ways of planning. They are outline, mind mapping. An outline begins as a large blank sheet of paper on which you pour out all your facts, ideas, observations and so on randomly. Mind mapping is a different way of planning and is easy to add new information and to link them with main ideas. The final stage is the revision. Always read and revise what you have written. Otherwise, ask someone else to read and revise your report. Check whether the report is clear, concise and persuasive. Revise your language and structure. Rewrite the parts that do not work meaningfully. The review, rework, revision and back to review can go into two or more iterations. Now let us have a quick recap of what we have learned so far. Plan carefully before start writing. Use an outline or a mind map. Organize your report. Keep simple and short sentences. Avoid jargon and legalistic words. Try to stick on to one main idea. Use active verbs as much as possible. Be concise. Always check whether your report is accurate, clear, concise and readable. All copyrights and trademarks of images belong to their respective IP owners and are used under fair use for educational purposes. So, today you have learned the aspects of report writing, the differences between essays and reports, the basics of report writing in detail.